All right, so welcome in. I'm Katie. This is Stretch and Flow. We have 30 minutes to feel great. <laughs> so let's go ahead, kick off your socks and shoes, make your way down to the mat. Knees are going to start out nice and wide with the big toes together-ish. And then we reach those arms forward, dropping the forehead down toward the floor into our child's pose. And from here, just take a moment, take a quick self inventory. Notice how you're doing. Notice what you're feeling. And breathe into whatever you need to breathe into for the next few minutes. Deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. Good, really stretching those arms forward, sinking those hips back. Not overthinking. We're not judging anything today. We're just moving through. And again, our goal is to feel better when we wrap up today. Good, inhale. Exhale, reach those hands forward just a tiny bit more. Inhale, exhale, sink your hips back just a little bit more. Good, stay right here. If you do want a little bit more, go ahead, walk those hands over toward the right side of your mat, opening up your side body. Finding that nice big bend, reaching all the way from your pinky down to your hip. Good, crossing at the wrists if you want even more there. Pressing down into the floor, we inhale. And exhale, let's walk this over to the left. Nice big reach toward the left front corner of the room. Cross at the wrists if you want and press down into the floor. Good, breathe into your right hip here. Perfect, and go ahead carefully, bring it back to the center. Now see that you're a little bit warmer. See if you can reach your hands forward even more. Gently rock that head side to side like you are very slowly shaking your head now. Perfect, and bring it to a stop. Deep inhale. Exhale, wiggle your fingers, pull those hands in below the shoulders, meet me up in our tabletop position. Knees under hips, hands right underneath those shoulders. From here, let's just take a little tiny rock forward and back. So you'll feel this a little bit in your hips, your back, your wrists and forearms. Perfect. Good, one more. And then find your weight centered completely between your hands and your knees. Press those shoulder blades down your back, bring some awareness to your core for me. And let's move through our cat and cow. Go ahead, inhale, drop the belly. Arch the back, look up, up, up toward the ceiling. And exhale, round the back, tuck the chin, just working through that spine. Take a few more of those at your own pace. Inhale, arch the back, look up. And exhale, round the back, tuck the chin, look down. Good, just a few more. Perfect, and find that neutral spine. You can take a little rock side to side with the hips if you want. You wanna look back toward the tailbone. Good, again, we're just heating up the spine. 
from here, if your wrists are uncomfortable, go ahead, come up onto your knuckles or make a fist. Let's reach the right arm forward, looking straight down. Send the left leg back, find your balance. Keep that nice, strong core here. Perfect. Now I want you to reach your right arm out toward the right corner of the room. And then kick your left leg back toward the left back corner of the room. So it's like you're making a big diagonal line through your body. Good, inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, find that again. Right arm out to the right, left leg out to the left, back to the center, and one more time. Inhale out, exhale, bring it back, and lower down. Check in, notice how you feel? Hopefully a little bit warmer. Left arm reaches out. Right leg kicks back, awareness in the core. If this is too much, just do the arm or the leg. You don't have to do both. Good, hold it first. Find that length from the crown of your head all the way down to that right heel. Perfect. Left arm, reach it out to the front left corner of the room. Right leg kicks toward the back right corner of the room. Good, come right back to the center. Awareness in your core. Keep drawing that belly button in. Let's take that again. Inhale, reach it out. Exhale, right back to center. Do it again, reach it out. Right back to center, hold. Beautiful, and release. From here, go ahead, cross at your wrists. So make that big X with your forearms. Rotate those hands out and keep reaching those hands toward either side of the room as we lower the forehead down to the floor. So right away, we built a little bit of heat in the shoulders and the hips. So right away, we'll go in and stretch them out. Good, press the shoulders down away from your chin. Breathing into your upper back, your shoulders, your biceps here. Perfect, carefully shift your weight back, uncross the arms, take the opposite arm in front. So same thing, fingers are rotated out. We're gonna crawl those hands out toward either side of the room. Forehead falls down toward the mat. Shoulder blades press down your back and we breathe. Keep reaching those hands out. Good, inhale. Exhale, shift the weight back, bend the elbows, unwind. Find that tabletop one more time. When you get there, transition down dog, curl the toes under, send your hips up and back. Let's walk this out, bending one knee, pressing the opposite heel down. So remind our hips are up high. We're trying to straighten out the back, straighten out the legs as much as we can, but especially the first one of the day. We don't want to take it too seriously, right? Good, press both heels down. Just getting into it. Hips up and back toward the ceiling, biceps next to the ears. Good, bend your knees. Let's tiptoe those feet up to the hands. When you get there, find that half lift for me. And exhale, release, round it over, very nice. Soft bend in the knees, round your back, slowly roll it up to standing. Remember, your head always comes up last. Let's open up the chest when we get there ground the feet into the floor. Let's take just a couple sun salutations to warm up. So remember, make these work for you. Feel free to change it, swap it, whatever you need. Let's inhale, sweep the arms up overhead and exhale forward fold. Good, inhale, we take that half lift again. So hands to shins or thighs, back is flat, lengthening through the tailbone and release. Hands on the floor, bend the knees, step it back to your plank, stay here, check in. Belly button pulling to your spine, hands directly below your shoulders. Knees or toes, go ahead, inhale, chaturanga. Good, sweeping through, drop your shoulders down. Soften your elbows. Good, you're doing great. If this is too much, please bend your elbows more. We'll curl those toes under. Exhale, up and back, down up. Good, drive those heels down, lengthen out. 
Check in. Can you spread out your fingers and press evenly into your palms? Good, bend the knees. Let's step the feet up to the hands. Again, we inhale, half lift. And exhale, release, round it over and carefully roll it up. Shoulders roll up, down and back when we get there. Palms forward into our mountain pose. Let's take that again. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Half lift. Good, make your way to that plank. Nice and strong, no sinking into the back. Everything lowers down together, chaturanga. Good, find that cobra, hold it. Good, shoulders away from the ears. Energy pressing out of the back legs. I don't know why I always say that. Both legs are back, I know. Energy out of both of your legs. <laughs> Go ahead and find that down dog when you're ready. Good. press both heels down. We'll do that one more time. Bend the knees, step or hop those feet to your hands. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, release. Carefully roll it on up. Good, shoulders up, down, and back. We do that one more time. Let's add a little bit more power behind this one. Inhale, up. Exhale, forward fold. If you don't want to add power, just add a little bit of purpose to it. Making sure we're not just going through the motions. Really feeling each pose. Good, find that down dog for me, shake it out. Good, press both heels down. When you're ready, inhale, float your right leg up and back, single leg down dog. Squaring off those hips, lengthening through your toes. Good, bend your knee. Now sweep that right foot through top of your mat. Stay here, I want you to keep your back heel straight up. Rise up, crescent, lunge. Shoulders down, arms up. You're pressing your hips straight down here. Good, inhale. Exhale, lower the hands down to the floor. Scoot your left foot back just a little bit more when you get there. Check in, knee and ankle in a straight line, and then let's add our twist. Right arm reaches up. Perfect, carefully lower that down. Step the right foot back to meet the left, pedal it out, please. And when you're ready, we'll do the same thing, left leg, lift it up, lengthen through the toes, square off the hips. Bend the knee. Now sweep that left foot through top of your mat. Right foot stays where it is with the heel up. And come on up, high lunge, shoulders down. Quick check in, how are you doing? Slow down if you need to. If you need more, add more range of motion. <clears throat> Inhale. Exhale, hands lower down to the floor. Settle in, make sure your front heel is down. And then we'll go ahead and add that big twist. Knee on top of ankle, twisting through the center of your chest. Perfect, lower that down. Inhale, exhale, step that left foot back to meet the right, walk it out. Good, press both heels down. Go ahead, carefully bend your knees, lower your knees all the way back down to the floor. We're gonna take that little calf stretch. We've done this one a few times. I want you to take your left knee, place it somewhere in the middle of your right calf. So it's just gonna kind of rest on it for now. Perfect, now I want you to flex that top foot. So your left foot, perfect. And just kind of like a water pump. We're gonna pull that heel up toward the glute, lower it up and down. Perfect. So kind of like we're acting as a little foam roller here. <laughs> Good, slide the knee down just a little bit. If you need to come up onto your knuckles, you can also always lower down the forearms. We're not focusing on the shoulders right now. So if they're driving you crazy, please do something about it. <laughs> they don't have to drive you crazy. Okay, go ahead, take that knee down even lower. Gently lifting, lowering. 
keeping our shoulders down away from our face. Good. And then I started pretty much like very in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and take my knee up a little bit higher too, toward the top of my calf muscles. Perfect. Just kind of like you're working out any kinks that you have in there. <laughs> Perfect. Remember, you can always go side to side too. If you want to focus more on the inside or outside of that calf muscle, do whatever works best. And then we'll switch that. Okay, go ahead, right over left or whichever side you didn't just do. I'm going to start in the middle again. Flex that top foot, pull the heel toward the glute, lift and lower. Good, let's take that knee down just a little bit lower. Again, relax your shoulders, relax your face. No tension or gripping in the neck. Down a little bit more. Good, and I'm gonna come all the way back up toward the top. Again, side to side, in and out, whatever you need here. Kind of try it all out too. See where you do hold your most tension. Since we all walk a little differently, some of us cave in, cave out, turn in, turn out from the hips. Our calves hold pressure and tension a little bit differently too. Perfect. Okay, once you feel good there, I want you to lower the knees back down under your hips. Find that tabletop position. Curl your toes under. Find your down dog again. I want you to see if your heels are a little bit closer to the floor now that your calves have lengthened out. Good, just stay here for a breath. Awesome. We'll take one more little warrior series here and then we'll just finish with a lot of our static stretches. But first, right leg, find that single leg dog again for me. Flex the foot, bend the knee, quick hip opener in our scorpion. Stacking the hips. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Let's step that right foot through to the top of the mat. Left foot turns out to about 10 o'clock. Come on up. Warrior one. Drop the shoulders. Reach through the fingers. Remember, we're pressing evenly between our front heel and the outer blade of our back foot. Good. Press that left hip forward. We inhale, we exhale, open this up, warrior two. So back foot, turn it out a little bit wider. We're gazing over that right hand. We're pushing that knee in line with the middle of our foot. Good, go ahead, straighten that right knee, reach forward so you get that nice crease at the hip and then tip into your triangle. Good. Shoulders are stacked. You have a long line, hand to hand here. Top shoulder, if it's collapsing, I just need you to come up a little bit higher. Good. Inhale. Wherever you are, exhale. Bend that right knee. You can always come up onto your forearm as well here for a right ankle. Breathe. Inhale, exhale, back to warrior two. I know that front leg may be getting a little tired, but hang on. It'll be worth it for the stretch that we get at the end. <laughs> Flip your right hand over, exhale up and over, reverse warrior. Left hand can scoop up toward the front hip if you want. Good, you're breathing. Your back is arched, but you're breathing. We inhale, exhale, windmill hands to the floor. Rotate your back heel up, find your low lunge. Front heel is down, hands are going to move to the inside of that right foot. Soften the elbows, push the hips straight down. If you wanna lower that back knee down, go right ahead. That one's really just preference. If your knee is down and you want more of a challenge, lift your thigh off the floor. So you're on the top of your back foot, but your knee and thigh are lifted. Good, go ahead, lower that down. Everybody curl the back toes under, inhale. 
Exhale, step the right foot back to meet the left and pedal that out, please. Good, tuck the chin, check in, biceps next to your ears, yes? Yes. <laughs> All right, when you're ready, left leg up and back, single leg dog. Press into the hands, square off the hips. Good, scorpion, flex that foot, bend your knee, press the left foot toward the right side of the room. Perfect, inhale. Exhale, sweep the left foot through to the top of your mat. Back foot turns out. Come on up, warrior one with that left leg forward. Everything square to the front of the room. You're doing great. Just if you needed that reminder. <laughs> Good, where's your knee? Make sure it's going straight ahead. Good, inhale with me. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Turn your back foot out a little bit more. Sink back in. Arms are strong here. Gaze over that left hand. Perfect. Carefully straighten the front leg. Remember, we don't lock out the knee. Reach toward me. Good, and then tip into that triangle. Stack the shoulders. Good, you can hold on to that front leg if you want. Just make sure you're holding above or below the knee and the hand is resting there. It's not pressing down. Good, inhale. Exhale, bend that knee. You can come up to the thigh if you want. Press up and out of that bottom shoulder. Perfect, deep inhale. Exhale, meet me back in that warrior two, gazing over the front hand. Again, we might feel a little heat in that front leg. That's okay. Flip your palm over, inhale. Exhale, reverse it up and over. Good, just one breath here, inhale. Exhale, windmill the hands to the floor, back heel rotates up. Make sure your back heel is up toward the ceiling. Hands on the inside of that left foot. Find that low lunge. Knee stacked on top of the ankle, elbows are soft hips are pressing straight down toward the floor and again if you'd like you can lower that back knee down good you can untuck the toes do whatever feels best for you here soften the elbows relax the shoulders Perfect, everybody curl those back toes under, inhale. Exhale, find that down dog one more time, pedal it out. Good, drag those heels down. From here, you can kick the right leg up if you'd like making your way into our pigeon. We're gonna pull that right foot toward the left wrist. Or if, it's, if it works better for you to think about, right knee next to right wrist. Extend your back leg back as far as you can. Rotate your left hip forward. Perfect, and then if you want, you can reach the hands out. You can lower down to forearms. You can lower down to your forehead. Whatever you need here, and I just want you to breathe straight into that right hip. Good, slow your breathing. Make sure we're keeping the weight centered here. Perfect, everyone meet me back up on your hands. I want you to roll over onto that right hip. Pull that back knee in. So we're going for about a 90 degree angle in both knees and I just want you to stay here. So you're kind of pressing your left hip forward here. And we're shooting for 90 degrees, hip to knee, knee to ankle, and then from your ankle to your toes as well. And if you're already feeling good through your hips here, just hold it. If you want more, I want you to pitch forward at the chest just a little bit. 
Good, make sure you're breathing. Relax your shoulders. Inhale, lift up. Let's do that one more time. Exhale, stink forward. Perfect, carefully come on up. You can scoot your back foot in just a little bit more. I want you to take your right hand next to your hip as we inhale. Then exhale up and over into our mermaid. So hips are pressing forward, left arm is scooping up and over toward the back of the room. We're breathing into those hip flexors for three, two, one, and release that lower down. Swing both legs around in front of you just for a nice little transition. We'll sit up tall, inhale up. Exhale, flex your feet, toes straight up, and then reach out for your feet. Good length through your spine, length through your legs. Perfect, and carefully release that. From here, we're gonna start with pigeon, left leg forward. So I'm gonna circle back to my down dog and transition that way. You do whatever you need to do, whatever makes the most sense for you, or is the most comfortable. So just as a reminder, left foot toward your right wrist, or left knee, left wrist. Extend that back leg back as far as you can. Sit up tall first, keep that weight centered. Right hip pushing toward the front of the room. And then you sink in as much as you'd like. We'll breathe in here for about a minute. Relaxing the shoulders, keeping those hips level. Breathing, trying to send all your oxygen straight to that left hip. <clears throat> Good, if that mind starts to wander, pull it back to your breath, back to the stretch. Relaxing as much as you can here. Perfect, and carefully come on up. Everybody meet me up on those hands. From here, we fall over onto that left hip. Try to find that 90 degree-ish, 90-ish degree. <laughs> Bend in your knees, square off those hips, sit up nice and tall, and just try to find those angles first. And if you're feeling really good there, go ahead, hinge forward just a little. You're rotating that right hip forward. Try to keep your left hip on the ground. Good, inhale, release, and try it again. Exhale, hinge forward. Perfect, carefully come on up. From here, bring that back knee in just a little bit more. Left hand stays right next to the left hip. We inhale together. We exhale, press the hips forward, reach it up and over, mermaid. Make sure you're breathing, pressing those hips forward. If you want even more, you can engage the glutes. Perfect, and carefully release. This time, go ahead, meet me in crisscross applesauce or something comfortable. Sit up nice and tall, shoulders up, back, and down. If you're comfortable too, close your eyes. And go ahead, nice and heavy, drop your right ear over to your right shoulder. Left side just melting away. If you'd like, right hand can reach up and over toward your left ear and rest on your head. Good, breathe into that left shoulder. Good, carefully release your hand, drop your chin to your chest. If you'd like, hands can come to the back of your head and just rest there. Elbows fall in, breathe into the back of your neck. Perfect, release the hands. 
Head sweeps over to the left, right side falling away. Let your head feel heavy. And left hand can reach over toward your right ear if you'd like. Good, again, it's just resting there, not forcing, not even pressing. Good, release that hand. Go ahead, lift your head back up to the center, sit up a little bit taller. Take a deep breath in, fill up those lungs side to side. And let it go. Go ahead, flutter those eyes open. We'll take one more breath together today. Inhale, reach those arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, hands come down to your heart center. As always, thank you all so, so much for joining me today. It always flies by. <laughs> I appreciate you guys so much. The light in me bows to the light in you. Namaste. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you so, so much.